Hey YouTube, I just wanted to come on here because I'm going to make some quick and easy flatbread and I'm going to try cooking it in my air fryer versus my cast iron pan. And this is my favorite flatbread recipe. It's from Jenny Can Cook. I just printed it off here. I will try to link it down below. So this is pretty easy. It's a pretty basic recipe. It starts off with one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do that. And these, um, they make, it makes four six inch flatbreads. It's a teaspoon of yeast. I don't measure other than in my hand. I've made these plenty of times and it always seems to come out good even though my measurements aren't quite exact. It takes for a half a teaspoon of salt, which I'm just using um, coarse kosher salt by Morton and then I use the active dry yeast by Red Star. It happens to be the brand that I have. It's just regular. This one actually says it's, you know, you can use it for bread machines and all kinds of things. And then it takes two teaspoons of olive oil. And I happen to use, what is this brand I'm using? Um, it's just extra virgin olive oil. That's the brand. And it also calls for a half a cup of warm water. I think that's, it might be a little bit more than I would have liked. And you just mix it. Once it's done, I'll come back. So this is what the dough looks like when it comes out of the mixer. And I just flour my surface just a little bit here. Now it does need to rest for about 10 minutes. And I generally make at least three of these because we will eat the flatbread here like crazy. And so I will make probably about 12 of them or so to um, hold this over. So I just kind of leave the dough resting here and I get a clean cloth, which I forgot to do. And I will just go ahead and put it like this and I will keep making them until I have three of them. So I'll come back. All right, so I'm back and the dough has been resting, well, the first one has been resting for almost about 10 minutes now, um, which is about how long it takes. And again, each one makes four. So I just take it and I cut it into four. So again, I'm just trying this to try it in the air fryer, the Paula Deen eight and a half quart air fryer. Uh, I do make them on the stove top in my cast iron skillet all the time. They take maybe, I don't know, just a minute or two on each side in the skillet. Um, but you do have to be wary of the flour burning in the skillet. So, you know, you're constantly wiping it out. Um, but so I'm gonna try it in the air fryer just to see how that works. So you just take a small section of the dough and I kind of put it in a little ball, flatten it out. And I flour my surface as well so that it isn't, um, so it doesn't stick. And make them as big as you want. Uh, we use these just like you would typically use uh, for any type of nan bread. I think I'm going to actually make sausage and peppers tonight in my instant pot and I'm going to that's what we're going to use these for so this is about how big it looks so it covers uh, you know both of my hands shape doesn't matter it does not have to be a perfect circle so I'm warming up the Paula Deen air fryer right now and we can head on over there and take a look at it So again, this is the Paula Deen air fryer, and it is heating up at this point. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the vented bottom. So 
So that's what it looks like. And I do have the temperature on 430 degrees. Um, I'm not going to cook it for 10 minutes. I just quick turn the timer so that it would heat up. Uh, and we'll come back uh, and see what it takes to see what it looks like. Okay, I decided I wanted to go ahead and do one of the flatbreads in the cast iron skillet for comparison purposes so everybody can see what it looks like. So I'll try to get it close here. So again, the same little bit of flatbread. It's not quite heated up yet, my pan, um, but we'll just give it a minute or two. It doesn't take very long. And I do have it on about medium high. So once the pan is warmed, it will go much quicker. I'll come back when it's warmed up. So here we are back to the Paula Deen air fryer. This is so far what this looks like. I did just quickly flip it, but see it's browning on one side. And then I flipped it so we can get some cooking on the other side. And I will check how the stove is doing so far. Pan's still heating up. All right, so in checking this one in the pan, we can see that the bottom is looking pretty good and ready to flip. So it doesn't take very long. Like I said, it's maybe, maybe a minute or so on both sides. And it is, does go a, a lot faster when the pan is hot. And I do already have the one out of the air fryer. Here it is right here. It definitely has a different texture I can feel already. It does feel a little drier. Um, but we'll see when it comes time for taste testing. is just about finished. If you hear that hissing in the background, that is my Instant Pot. I am actually just making, steaming myself up some dumplings for lunchtime. And this is done. So shut that off and we're going to move this over here. So here are the two. Again, this one is from the air fryer, the Paula Deen eight and a half quart, and this one is from the pan, um, which they do, they can get puffy sometimes like this one as well, so it's not just because I cook this in the pan, it's flat. So I'm going to give these a, a little taste test. I mean, these, they look, they look great. That's what it should look like. Mm. And they taste, this one tastes really good. And this one again, not quite as fluffy. But let's see. This one definitely is moister. Not that that is good or bad compared to this one. I think that they're both just as delicious. So. I'd say, you know, use the pan if that's what you have available to you. Cast iron pan, and again, it's only about a minute on each side. And if you don't, and you wanna go ahead and use the air fryer, again, that seemed to work really well at the 430, and that really only took a few minutes itself. I did preheat it, so for a couple of minutes. So I would say, um, yeah, go ahead and, and try either one. Again, these are, these are delicious, and I'll probably snack on this with my dumplings. So thanks a lot YouTube and have a great day. I wanted to add one more time, this is not my recipe. This recipe came from Jenny Can Cook. As you can see here, I printed it off of her website and this is the recipe here. That's the ingredients. And these are the directions. If you wanted to pause the screen, I will try to link it at the bottom, but uh, yeah, this is a great recipe and I use this all the time. She's got some other amazing recipes as well. Thanks again.